All right, after we got the bearing container on, we're gonna start off with our front bearing. It's mass bearing, so you don't wanna make sure you don't get the two mixed up. And there's a little uh, retainer in between the two. You just start out with the first one. This bearing here we have, magnetic. Uh, can't get a hold of one of these, you have to use an oil bath to heat it up. Now this takes a minute or so. It has to get to about 250 degrees so it'll slide on the shaft nice and easy. nice and even it slides down it drops down just like that so we'll come back over here to the second one but first we're going to grab our race and our other retainer I flip this so like I said it's match bearing so it's right Second one can be a little tricky sometimes to drop on because of the race. You just gotta make sure you got it nice and even. Just like that. Go back. We'll drive our lock washer and our lock nut to the front. A little tab on here, slide right down in there. I'll put this on. Make sure it screws on a little bit. I'll leave that for now. And be 
before we go, putting this on, you gotta put, make sure you put the lock washer and the lock nut on. Because once you start putting the, the rear bearing on, you won't be able to get that on there otherwise. Um, that went on there nice and even. Good to go. At least smaller bearings for the, for the rear bearing. It'll heat up a lot quicker than the bigger ones will. Much just the same, just smaller. I'll grab it over here. And it just drops right on. Same deal you come. Grab the retainer in the race, flip the race over so it stays a match bearing. Retainer on. And then the race. They get the more difficult they can be. Oh, can't get it to go on. Just use the race, pop her up, and drop her down on. Come back over here. Again, lock washer, lock nut. I so said there's a little tab on the bottom of it. Make sure you just drop that right, right spot, right here. And we'll just lightly put this on. Alright, stop. So next here we have some red Loctite. And I want to kind of be a little bit liberal with it, but you want to be make sure you don't get any in the bearing. That should be good. Put the lock washer back down. Get it tight by hand. All right, tight by hand. And you want to grab the side of it and see how much play is in there. That's just an up and down play. <clears throat> then you want to grab a chisel and a hammer. And just knock it around. Then every so often, come back, check the play. If there's still some in there. All you want to do is get it tight enough, just tight enough so you can, so there's no play in it.
There's no play in it. Come over here. Be a little tab that lines up. Push that tab up in the lock. And we'll do the same with the top. And pretty liberal with it, but just make sure you don't get any down in the bearing. Like that. And start off by hand here. Check the play. Chisel and a hammer. And you want to make sure it spins pretty freely. And then again, find the tab that you want to lock it with. And just pound her in. You also want to come back and make sure there's not any loose pieces of metal that are about to fall off because you don't want those falling in the bearing. Seems to here we should be good. Bearings spin nice and freely. And that's how you do 600 shaft bearings.